Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 40, and this is war number 10. We've only got three wars, including this one, left. And we're going up against an alliance called the Power of Unity. I love it. Not uniformity, but unity. Because you can be unified in diversity. Uh, let's see who they've banned. No surprise. Gallon banned. Okay. Um, at least Hercules is, is banned immune, but yeah, next time maybe uh, we'll be able to use Gallon more. But anyway, uh, no surprise there. They'll probably have uh, some um, defenders that... Gallon would have uh, just ripped apart. All right, so this first one, yeah, see, Gallon would have ripped him apart uh, if they allowed it. All right, so the first mini is Man Thing. I can take him with uh, El Diablo. Uh, we can bring in Namor uh, to take out that Super Scroll. Uh, Sasquatch, uh, somebody else will have to take him. Uh, then we've got, hmm. Claire should be able to handle that. No problem. Same thing with this uh, Colossus. And then we have uh, Ebony Maw. Somebody else will take that. But you notice that they banned uh, Spider-Man 2099 as well as Gallon. However, um, Human Torch or um, Titania could do that fight but man I, I hate having to use namor for just that one fight or else i could help a bit more uh let me think yeah i don't think i'd want to use titania there yeah claire to clear that uh, Diablo for that, and Namor. And I suppose if I needed to do cleanup, which I usually don't, um, against Maw, could try, uh, Claire. But yeah, that's, I think that's what I'll do. I haven't been looking all over the board just to show you guys who they've placed on defense. I just forget. So you can see here their uh, defensive lineup here. All right. Mm. I was just thinking if Claire, but no, Claire would not be good um, for this fight. Yeah, armor ups and they're immune to nullify fate seal, yeah. We'll stick with what we normally do when they ban Gallon for this path. Uh, now, I do have other... Cha you know, I'm thinking about that now. I could bring in, instead of Namor, I could bring in Hulkling. I'm trying to remember. Power Burn. I'll have to see. I know he's immune to Power Steel. Maybe if he's immune to power burn i might bring in hulkling hulkling would be good um for that and i could also use him if i needed to against uh ebony maw i could do that hmm we'll see all right i'll have to talk it over with my uh team and we'll be back and you'll see what we decided. All right. That's what we decided on. You know, Gallon is banned. So I'm going in with Hulkling, Claire, and Titania. And I'm remembering to put on the subdue, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, in this case, since I'm not uh, bringing in Overseer. Now, well, we're going to see it in a minute. This... uh. First fight here is against Super Scroll. 
And Hulkling is really good for Super Scroll. Uh, I think Hulkling's uh, signature ability is King, has King in it. And Super Scroll thinks he's super, but he's not. No, not against Hulkling. Mm -mm. Um, so happy that I took Hulkling up. And, um, I mean, he's a beast. He is just a beast. Uh, I'm still learning to play him. He doesn't seem to be too complicated, but I'm still learning to play him. I do like hitting into the block to build up those pierce buffs. I do love doing that. All right. And he's nice. He's firing his special one off. The only thing I really have to be concerned with is that falter. You know, if I lose track of the falter, then it can be a mess. But look at that. I don't know what happened there, but I have the falter on me right now. And I'm just trying to get a parry in. There we go. So I can swipe it like that and get rid of the uh, falter. And I already had a special three just waiting for him. Look at that. Oh. And he's almost done. And my health is still looking good. He fires off his special one. And I mistime it. But it's okay. We're going in again. Falter is nowhere near. And he's done. So definitely not the cleanest fight. But you can see that even though I got hit a couple of times... Did not play perfectly. Still beat that super scroll. And my health, still looking pretty decent. Uh, now, I did not take this uh, man thing. I could have uh, taken him if I brought in like a Diablo, but that wasn't my fight to do. Um, did not take this fight either. As you can see, already cleared. He did a beautiful job on that one. And now I get to fight Symbiote Supreme. Uh, now, Symbiote Supreme, I remember when I fought him with, uh, he was in some quest and I fought him with Corvus. And the only reason that I survived was because Corvus was awakened. I went in fully charged up, all my buffs ready. And before I even touched him, I was down to 1% and would have died if uh, he hadn't been um, awakened so that he was immune. It was ugly. But she doesn't really get a lot of buffs. And as you can see here, I'm not too worried about him. I've fought him before. She does not rely on her buffs. And I want to get him down nice and quick. Uh, I see that he has an armor up. So I'm staying in uh, Curse of Blood. Because I do not want blood. We've already seen how nasty that bleed is. Do not want that. No blood. No blood on me. So he goes down pretty quickly and easily. Man. I wish I had gotten a rank 5 mystic gem. That one would have been fun because I think I would have taken Claire to rank five. I really do. All right. This one should be uh, fairly routine. We fought Colossus on this node and the other node that we just got done with. We fought him on both of them. Now, on this one, there's a chance that I can get a shock on. Me. However, I'll take a little bit of a shock because I will strip him of his armors and even if I had gotten a shock, I didn't that time, so the RNG was with me. Um, it wouldn't have been a whole lot. And I could have easily gotten it back if I needed to. All right, so you can see here, he has no armors, so I don't have to worry about any of that. And we're just taking him out, like we usually do. Claire is just so, so good for this. Now, he has an armor up right here, but you see... Uh, I, I glanced it, so I didn't take it away. So I'm like, okay, okay. Bam. No more of that. Player's just awesome. I love her. Love you, girl. All right. Now, 
for the fight that I was actually a little concerned with because Ebony Maw is a pain to fight at the best of times. And I'm still not 100% um, comfortable with Titania. The main thing that I know about Titania is she does not gain buffs. And if you don't gain buffs against Ebony Maw, he can't degen you. That's where he gets his degens. Uh, unless you, I think unless you get hit by his heavy or something like that, um, he's not going to be able to degen you, right? So I'm just like, all right, let's go ahead and do this just in case. You know, better to do it and not need it than to not do it and need it, you know? And like I said, this is the first time I'm fighting him on this node with Titania. So here we go. There we go. I got a nice heavy in at first, which I love. She's still got her haymaker, all that stuff. Okay, now it's done. And I'm just going in. I'm going in. Now I'm hoping to get another um, heavy attack off. All right. But he's doing his thing. Not giving me an opening. Look at that. He's not giving me an opening. Now I tried to go in and look at that. So happy I did that, right? Because I'm trying to force an opening. All right, there we go. Finally. Finally, I got a heavy off. All right. And I'm just like, okay. Should I, I do a, a um, special three? Nope. I went for the special two. I probably should have gone for the special three. All right. So now he's focused again. I need to knock him down. Approaching falter. Now we're in a bad way because we got falter on us. When that approaching falter happens, oh my goodness. But we were able to do a um, a, a parry. We did a re-parry. And we got him uh, knocked down. All right. We're almost done. Look at this. Only because she's titanium. And we got him down. So that was a very sloppy fight. Very sloppy. But we managed to get it done. If I had not put on an invulnerability boost, I would have lost that fight. I'm pretty sure I would have lost that fight. Um, but I did learn from that fight. And the next time I have to fight him there, if the other options are not um, are banned, I'll be able to do it with Titan. All right. So as you can see, that's the end of the war. We'll be back in a moment and you'll find out how this war ended. And we're back. And as you can see, we won this war. Uh, we had somebody monitoring things. And let me tell you, someone on their team ran into that infamous Iron Man like I did and was not prepared. But they, just like me, forced their way through it. But they died a lot against that infamous Iron Man. I feel you. I feel your pain. That happened to me. And uh, I decided to become an expert <laughs> at fighting him because of it. Uh, anyway, shout out to our MVPs. Uh, without them, we would be far, far less. And I don't know if we would have won. Anyway, uh, take care. Hit the like button. If you enjoyed it, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. If you have any tips or tricks or anything uh, in the fights, any comments on the fights, let me know. All ears. All right. Take care. And you all have a blessed day.